so I'm about to make some lunch um, I figured we would share that with you sort of a what's for dinner but it's lunch because John's home so when John's home lunch is usually dinner as well if you know well that made no sense lunch is still lunch but um, it's more than it's more than just a little you know simple find something for yourself usually so this video is off to a terrible start I'm very scatterbrained we have been down working on the animal pen um, it's rainy today so we moved inside we're working inside today um but we got done what we could get done and you know inside until we can go outside the rain's supposed to stop in a couple of hours so we're gonna go out there and do that the entire animal pen um video i don't know what we're gonna call it like i know we're gonna call it something but i haven't decided a name on it we're gonna have our goats and our chickens together um so i haven't decided on the name for it like i know there's one lady that i follow on youtube that her place is called chickenlandia and then um another family that we follow like where they keep their chickens some of their chickens they call it new york city okay i want something clever and cute y'all know me okay i'm always extra when it comes to stuff like this but i want something cute and i have not figured out what to call it yet so for now we're just calling it the goat barn or the goat shed um, because that's what part we're working on right now we're going to the you'll see it all eventually but the main area that the main structure of the building will be for the goats and um storage as of now that's the plan that could easily change but onto the back no onto the side of that we will be putting our chicken coop so i'm thinking i want to um just name it something in general for all of them i don't know we're gonna figure it out if you have any ideas let me know down below um but yeah because i want to make like a sign to put out there like i said y'all know i'm extra but anyways that will be a completely totally completely totally it works different video i'm planning on doing the whole entire build as a video instead of like breaking it up into little segments just in case people want to see that that's not interested in all this so we're going to anyways what um while we was down there working for some reason i have no clue why but i thought hamburger helper sounds delicious right now yeah i've not ate i'm not ate today um so i was thinking i don't have no hamburger helper but i had everything that we needed to make okay calm down with your hands um, i have everything we needed to make just like homemade hamburger helper you know noodles cheese hamburger so we're gonna make some of that and i'm excited because i'm hungry um oh in case you couldn't tell i think we're also gonna make a side of corn and maybe some frozen biscuits just because we've already got them and they're quick john and nolan did run off to the field to look where um that's where john that's john's hobby so they ran off to do that but i am going to go ahead and make it now because it's hamburger helper that kind of meal it's super easy to heat up and so we're going to do it because i want to eat now they get eat when they get home we're hoping that the rain stops in the next hour or two and we can get outside and get some more done on the pen i'm trying to not make everything about the animals i know that this whole time we've been on youtube we have not been animal people i mean we are you obviously see that through the dogs but yeah not everybody wants to hear about my goats and my chickens so i'm trying to you know not just full-blown go into that i can't say that we won't eventually venture into pretty much being solely that because this is my life channel and you know life changes so i was telling my friend mary that i feel like this is my mid midlife crisis and this is how i'm coping with it i don't know because it's just like the urge slowly started yeah, last year, but it has just grew and grew lately. And my oldest baby turned 18 in December. And maybe this is just like my mid midlife crisis because I'm only 32. I'll be 33 in June. Um, but anyways, we're going to get over here and throw this together. Y'all know that we don't follow no recipes, no rhyme or reason. Just we cook with our hearts and our eyeballs and most importantly, our mouth. So let's get to cooking. Okay, so I don't remember what kind of noodles we have. It's whatever kind we've had um, for that last cook with me that I done. And that's all the noodles we've got other than spaghetti noodles. I need to get stocked up on some different pastas and such. We'll probably do that next time I grocery shop. 
Um, but we're getting ready to add some water here, you know, cook the noodles till they're done. And then in this pot, we're going to do some hamburger meat. I just got a little bit less than a pound. Y'all know when I'm trying to, you know, save money and not spend as much at the grocery store, I will use less than half a pound in recipes. It just needs a little bit of meat in it to make the men's happy. Um, and then once it's got, you know, once it's got a little bit of meat in it, they're fine. Obviously, you know, if John could choose, it would be 80% meat, but meat's expensive. So we got a little bit less than half a pound. I've got it over here thawing out. I thawed it out in some hot water in its little baggie here because we was down there working and I was like, I would love to have some hamburger helper. And then I realized I could just make some homemade. So I ran up and grabbed that out of the freezer and I had that thawing out. So that's what we're going to do. I'm going to run in here and see what kind of noodles we have. I don't remember. I know that they're the big ones, but it's fine. It's going to be delicious. I promise. And even if it's not, you'll never know. So this is what we've got. A rigatoni. I should know that. Like it's, it's literally me. Um, and there's not as much in here as I thought there was, but we're going to make it work. It'll just be, I was ahead of myself. It'll just be one of those meals that John does get his good meat ratio in, I guess. Alrighty. And then in here, we're just going to start by hamburger. So it's still frozen, which I figured it would be. Um, but that's the good thing about using ground beef in recipes is it don't really matter, okay? It just, as it cooks, it'll thaw out and you're good. So you can just get it broke up. Okay, that's not gonna work. Um, I might have to change our utensil here. And I don't have any onions. I need to buy some. It's just, we're not big onion eaters. Um, I'll add some minced onions. It'll need some flavor. We don't do things plain around here. I wish I had some bacon, too. Last night at 9 o'clock, I'm actually down here. Last night, I was in here cleaning the kitchen and stuff, and Lily decided at, like, 8.45 that she really wanted bacon and pancakes. She asked me if I would make it this morning. I said, yeah, and then, you know, she was just like, you won't make it for me tonight, will you? And I was like, no way, I'm not making that because I was, you know, cleaning and stuff. <sighs> I made it. The whole family, I didn't eat any, um, but I ended up the whole entire family enjoyed it and wanted it. So everybody last night after nine o'clock, because by the time I got done, it was after nine, um, was eating pancakes and bacon. So I don't have no bacon. And before that, what made her want that, I think, is she was eating all the bacon bits. Um, so I don't have no bacon to add to this or I definitely would do that as well. We are really good over here about just working well for what we got. Um, that's just how, I don't know, we roll, how we adapt over here. Yeah, she's, that part's still a little bit too frozen. But it's fine. We'll make it work. We always do. Okay, so here's the lineup for our meat. We're going to add what is left of this. Um, sizzling burger seasoning. This is really good. We buy this at, what's the word? Uh, where do we buy this at? At Save-A-Lot, I think. Yeah, this is from Save-A-Lot. This, we go through a lot of this. It's not been that long ago since I bought this. This is what I use on like John's steak and stuff as well. So we added a little bit we have left of that. We're gonna do some minced onions. Come on, people. I should have just added onion soup mix. That probably would have been good. And then we're just going to add some of this firewood garlic. I thought this might give it wood-fired garlic. Close enough. I thought this might give it a little bit of a smoky flavor, and John loves that. I also have liquid smoke I could add to it. We might do that. We're gonna add just a little bit of liquid smoke. And then just a little bit of the W sauce. This is the meat that I bought at Sam's Club. It's 
um, lean, obviously, maybe. I don't know why I say obviously, because it's, it's not always obvious. Um, but I really like it. It tastes very close to the, um, the cow that we got processed a few years ago. That is what the flavor reminds me of. So it seems super fresh. And it cooks up just as good as my 93% that I buy or 96 from Walmart. There is never any like leftover fats or anything that I have to drain out. I really like it. I wish I would have grabbed, you know, two things of it. Uh, what am I doing? I wish I would have grabbed two things of it because it is a really good meat. Really good. So, Sam's Club meat is good. I don't know if that was the normal price or if it was on sale. Um, but if it's the normal price, I'm definitely going to stock up. And if it was the sale price, next time we see it on sale, I'm definitely going to stock up. So, moral of the story is I'm going to stock up on it. So, oh yeah, this hair, ignore it. It always looks bad, but I always got to point it out just so we both know that I know, you know, me either. Um, but it was already needing a wash because I have thin hair. So, I have to wash my hair every other day at the least and then sometimes sometimes if i'm like extra unlucky or i put it up or something it will get greasy faster than that when i was younger my mom bought i think it was vo5 shampoo and i used it i then went to bed and had to go to school the next day and i woke up and my hair was just as greasy as it was the day before so i have i have bad luck for stuff like that but anyways um it was already a little bit dirty and then me and john went out and stood in the rain getting measurements so it is what it is we're real around here okay that includes dirty hair because i'm going to turn this burner off just move this to my favorite burner this is the quick um boil one you know it's like it's supposed to be able to boil water in like three minutes this is just always the one i'll use and it's already boiling. Of course, it was already, you know, it was already close to boiling over there. So, pop them in, and then we will, when it's done, I'll, I'll bring you back, okay? This is the biscuits we're making. Nothing extra fancy. Not even as fancy as Bisquick biscuits. But these are delicious, okay? I don't care what nobody says. These are delicious. Might not taste like a normal biscuit. It's not your grandma's biscuit. But they're good, so. We're gonna make these. And these the leftovers of these will get used for um, breakfast sandwiches or something. So it's not like they get wasted if we don't eat them all right now. Your noodles are almost finished. So we're gonna go ahead and get these popped in the oven. Okay, so. Turn Ashley down here. My battery's dying on my iPad, so. I'm not gonna get to watch it much longer anyway. So we're gonna go ahead and get this in here. Now, instead of using whole milk, I've got some evaporated milk in there. I think we're going to use at least some of that. I just think it might help the flavor be better. I could be wrong. I could ruin this. But use some of that evaporated milk and then just some whole milk. Maybe. We'll see. Learning. Okay, so this is all the whole milk that we have. So that's fun. Alexa, add milk to shopping list. Oh, 
and we put maybe a half and a fourth. I don't know. You know me, okay? This isn't a recipe video. This is a cook with me. So, I don't know what we're doing. We're hoping for the best. We're gonna add this. Oh, you're a little late, but okay. I'm gonna warm it back up here to get our cheese melted. The noodles are big. So this is what it looks like. I get the cheese melting here, and then we'll probably add more cheese because, well, cheese. So. It smells really good, like that seasoning I put on the meat. So I just washed the pan that I cooked the hamburger in. Cause it's got to be cleaned anyway, so I cleaned it just to, it, it, it evens itself out, okay? So, I want to do some just canned corn. It's one of my favorites, especially with like a salty dish. It's, I like to have a sweet vegetable, so I like to do peas or corn. We do do green beans on the side a lot, um, but I want something sweet, so we're going to go with corn for this. So, I'm going to go grab it. So I grabbed this from Sam's Club. I done it online actually. So um, we got it in the mail the other day and I actually made one for dinner that same night, I think. And this is some of the best corn that I have tried. It actually has like a good flavor to it. Sometimes you'll get canned corn and it tastes like, I don't know, not corn. Um, but this is really good. I always just cook mine down in whatever it comes in here water i will cook it all the way down and then just turn it off and i guess it just like caramelizes i don't know what it does but it's really good so sam's club has been a big hit for me lately in case you couldn't tell I ended up adding that extra evaporated milk in here, so it might be a little watery. We'll probably add more cheese, though, so um, it's fine, but stuff like this, I've noticed, especially if you use Velveeta with it, um, when it's, like, piping hot, it'll be really watery, but as it cools down to where you can, you know, actually eat it, it will thicken up a little bit. I would have preferred to use some real cheddar because we all know Velveeta is not real. It's delicious, but it ain't real. Um, I would have preferred to add some real cheddar as well, but we don't have any. So I need to make a grocery list and get to the grocery store, obviously, and get some essentials. Stepping out, it's Friday night. How I'm longing for this day. Yes, I'm single, oh, we want to mingle, and my friends are. Close to me, feeling good, I've been
So I went ahead and just flip flopped these again. So I went ahead and turned this one off and then um, moved the corn over here so that it would cook quicker because everything else is done. I waited a little bit too long to start my corn, but it's fine. So we're just adding, I guess this is about a half a packet of this Velveeta sauce simply because it was in the refrigerator and I figured we might as well use it and not let it go to waste. Um, we're still using fake cheese. Well, processed cheese. Might have a little bit of cheesiness in it. Uh, you know, it's Velveeta, but it doesn't have the extra chemicals in it that, I don't think, I don't know, uh, the hamburger helper would have. So it's not the prettiest color because of that, which is fine. Because I'm, I know it's still going to be delicious. I mean, I've already tried it. So that is not always going to be the most appetizing when it's not out of a box. But it still can be just as good. So. And this is what I'm talking about letting the corn cook down. Now we're ready to eat. And just in time too because Nolan and John just got home. So. Alright guys, so that's going to be it for this video. It's just a little quick cook with me kind of thing. Um, experiment in the kitchen, which was a success. Nolan and John both said it was really good and it was. I ate it. Um, but it was really good, really easy. You don't have to have big fancy recipes or big fancy things to make meals that were easy and delicious or just simply delicious. So maybe this is just your little bit of, you know, encouragement to get in the kitchen and create something. I think that cooking is a craft and you know, you gotta be creative in there. And usually if you think it sounds good together, it's gonna be good together. Usually, not gonna promise you that. But we're gonna get out here in just a little bit and get to work on this pen some more. So I think we're gonna go ahead and close this out here so that I can get recording that. Um, so thank you for watching. Make sure that you subscribe down below if you haven't already. And as always, remember to show grace, be content, and live blessed. Bye, guys.